All right, today we're going to be changing plate heat exchanger on a Worcester Green Star. Plate heat exchanger on these is at the back of the boiler. Don't know if you can see it. It is there. But we're going to try and do it by dropping it out the back uh, rather than having to take everything out through the front. So cold mains is isolated. Isolate the flow and returns. Going to drain the boiler out and then get cracking. All right, so the boiler's all drained out. Uh, isolate the flow and returns. We're going to start by undoing the hot connection. So we're going to undo these two screws, undo the compression at the back of the hot pipe, move this hot pipe out of the way, and hopefully we should then have enough space to, once we've undone the two plate screws, to drop that out through the back and bring it out that way. All right, so undone the hot connection there, swung the hot pipe out the way. Now we're just going to undo the wasps. Block on the jig, goes up there. Get the right angle to get that off, not from there, from there. Nice and done. Under the compression at the back. Probably should have done it before I undid the screws. That's all right, let me get a pair of grips. This is how we do shit on the fly. Someone's done that compression up proper tight. So I've ended up cutting the hot connection there because I didn't have enough space to move it out the way. Um, so I just do that with the compression afterwards. So hot pipes out. Now you can see we should have enough space to drop the plate down through that gap there. So all we've got to do now is undo left, right. If all goes well, that will just pop straight down into the plumb tub. Plan this right. There we go. And that is how you get a plate out through the back. All right, so I'm just going to slide this straight up. up now 
And that's it. Job's done. All right, plate's in. Thought I'd take the diverter out as well, because it's only two screws. And you can see that the paddle's quite dirty. So I'm going to give that a bit of a clean as well. Because um, it haven't been sent here to change the diverter, but I thought I'd double check that. Give that a clean just to make sure that we don't have any other issues going forward as well. Right, so cleaned up the diverter paddle. Cleaned up the inside as well. So now that should eliminate any problem with the um, the hot water issues. So we're going to put it all back together, fill it up. The water's already back on. So we know we've got no leaks there. Just whacked a compression fitting. And we're done. Okay, so just testing the temperature of the hot water and we're getting approximately 45, 46 degrees. We've got a delta T of 35, 36 degrees, which is spot on uh, for industry standards. Can't keep your hand under the tap. So the plate's been changed, the divert has been cleaned up. So we're all good to go.